Roger, what tools are you using today? Well, Sarah, I like to use a pruning saw. The reason I like it is you can cut a quarter inch branch or a branch as thick as two or three inches like this one. Now, we want to remove this branch. We want to save this branch collar right here because that's where the tree heals, closes the wound off. If we tried to make a cut right here, the weight of the branch would pull down and cause a rip in the bark and the tree would never heal properly and we'd end up with a bad wound. Okay. So we're going to cut it off using the three-step method, okay? The first cut is an undercut right here, so I want you to cut about a third of the way through the branch. Keep going. Good. Now you notice it cuts when you pull. That's the important stroke. All right, that's good, Sarah. Now take the saw out. I want you to make the second cut right here about a half an inch this side of your first cut. So take the saw up. Right here? That should be good. Now you cut it all the way through and that branch is going to fall right off. Finish it right off. There you go. Now our third cut is going to be just outside the branch collar. Now this is where the tree heals after you make a cut, so it's very important to leave it intact. If you make a flush cut, which would be back here, you're going to end up with a wound like this that doesn't heal in a cavity, which can cause the tree problems down the road. Okay. Now take your left hand and put it on the branch, and bring your saw in here, line it up right there at the edge of that collar, okay? Now take and cut it through, supporting it, holding it so it doesn't rip all the way down. Okay. Look at that, nice smooth cut. Now let's get started cutting out some of the dead branches. Okay. That should snap right off. Okay, now you finish cut. Now remember, we want to encourage horizontal shape instead of vertical, and that's why we're gonna come in and take this upright out to encourage that shape. But there's also another problem when you have uprights like this in a tree. The tree can't dry out in the center because there's so many leaves in here. And when it doesn't dry out, it ends up getting a disease called apple scab. And that makes all the leaves drop prematurely. And it's not good for the overall health of the tree. And it does not make it look good at all. So I'm going to remove this branch. But I'm not going to cut it here. I'm going to take it all the way back to this main branch. All right? Now we're going to be working higher up in the tree and it's always important to wear a hard hat and a safety glasses when you're doing that. In order to make these cuts now we're going to use a pole saw and it's simply the same blade you had on your hand saw attached to a pole so that you can reach way up into the tree. It also has a hook on it and this hook is used to remove any branches that might get stuck up in there. Alright now go to your top. We talked about some of the bad cuts that were made on this tree and this is one right here. See, not only did they make a cut in the middle of the branch, which is bad, but they ripped it off, so this is never going to heal. Because of the way they made the cut, they caused all this little sucker growth, which is never going to amount to solid branching on this tree. So what we're going to do is cut it back to this live branch right here. And that'll heal and grow properly. Sarah, what we want to do now is remove small branches called suckers. Now these branches grow off a big stem, but they go vertical right up through the tree. What they do is they steal energy from the tree, and they also cause a lack of air circulation through the tree. Which causes the apple scab. Exactly. Now with the tree opened up, light's going to get in there and keep the leaves dry, and air circulation will help keep the leaves dry also. So that's going to prevent the apple scab from forming again. That's right. Along with what we're doing now, we're going to rake up all these leaves and remove them from away from the tree as far as possible. Because all these leaves are loaded with the fungus spores, and they'll come back next year if we don't remove them. Well, Roger, the tree looks great. I can really see how it's opened up, and it's much more horizontal. And wait till next spring. It's going to look great, and it has a healthy future ahead of it.